Taylor. Taylor's going to finish it. Watford for the win. Yes. yes. Damn, I've been off for a week. Y'all ain't seen me, heard of me, nothing for a whole damn week, y'all. Look at this shit. So, uh, I was on a walk with my kids the other day, and we hit the free books. And they had the Ripley's Believe It or Not book. A hundred dollar book. Whoever bought this book have money. Because ain't no fucking way I'm ever spending a hundred dollars on a fucking book. And then you just put it in the free books. I mean, I couldn't say no to that. Just saying. You know what I mean? I'm sure it's not $100 no more. But at one point in time, this motherfucker was $100. One man's trash is another man's treasure. <laughs> What's going on, world? Michael Beasy here coming to you from the Sports Corner. Colt Schedule Release Edition. Oh, yeah, that was a little tongue twister, but I got it out. Yes, yeah, so this episode, since I've been off for a week, Hardy's not here with me, it's solo dolo, we're going to jump into the cold schedule release. Uh, I want to talk about the schedule, this is something I need to do right now, I mean, it's an exciting time, Colts released a special promo video, let's check it out. <laughs> Fans assume that I earn my nickname from my calm and cool demeanor under pressure. But what they don't know is that I earn my nickname Matty Ice because I have an undeniable passion for ice sculpting. What do you got here? Eagles, Colts. That's a good start, but we got 16 more. And don't forget to buy. Now that was some corny ass shit. Like, really, Matty Ice? And why did they choose the Eagles? That's, that's another thing I don't really understand is, like, out of all the teams you chose on there, why wouldn't you choose the team you play week one, the Texans? Y'all chose the Eagles? We don't play the Eagles until, like, week fucking 11 or some shit like that. I don't know. I'll get into more than that. But you know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? Like, it don't even make sense. And then you got Frank running up in there like, I'm over Frank. Hardy sticks up for Frank all the fucking time. I ain't sticking up for him. I wanted his ass fired at the end of last year. Just saying. But let's jump into the schedule release, y'all. So what I'm seeing here. All right. Welcome to the Colts schedule release. So let's see. First up, Colts week one away game at Houston. That's going to be a W. Lovey Smith is the coach of Houston right now. Um, and you heard me say that right now. Uh, they're not going to be very good. Um, they're tanking, basically. They're probably going to end up with two wins on the season. Maybe three, but probably just two. Then you got week two, Jacksonville. This is a game that is circled on the Colts' calendar. They got embarrassed in this game last year. It's the last game of the season. It's the reason we didn't make the fucking playoffs. It's the reason Frank Wright should have been fired, but he still has a job. It's the reason he should have been fired. It's the reason Carson Wentz is on the Commanders. You know what I mean? So, in that regard, okay, we're going to get the dub. I think the Colts are going to win that one, start the season out 2-0. And, oh, and then we're going to bring it home for the first home game of the season against the Chiefs. Now they got Patty Boy Mahomes. I don't know. This game is a toss-up game. It's, it's one of those that I want to say that the Colts are going to win, but I have that fucking niche feeling that it's a game that they jump out early. Colts do end up squandering the lead late and fucking losing. Because that's just what the fucking Colts do. But, 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 I'm hopeful for Matty Ice. So, I'm going to give the Colts the dub right there. 
Week four, we got another AFC South matchup against the Titans. We've had a lot of bad luck against the Titans as of late for whatever reason. I don't know. I'm tired of losing to the Titans. I'm sure the Colts are tired of losing to the Titans. I'm sure Ursa is tired of losing to the Titans. I know the world is tired of seeing the Colts lose to the fucking Titans. So we're not going to lose to the Titans this year, y'all. It's not happening. Colts getting that dub at home. And it will probably be a close one. You know, it's a home game. Uh, for whatever reasons, the Titans do come in here and play as close. I don't get it. It's just what happens. As of late, they beat us, as I said. And then week five. So originally, I had the Colts winning this one. And then I thought about it logically. And I'm like, man, it's just... It's going to be tough to start a season out 5-0. and And, I mean, the Colts were really good. So they could totally start the season out 5-0. and But then you go to mile high, week 5. I feel like that's another toss-up game. And that's a game that the Colts lose late. They lose off a fucking field goal or some bullshit like that. And start the season out 4-1. Uh, and, and then that leads us to week 6. We got Jacksonville again. So we're knocking out the AFC South bright and early in the... At the beginning of the season. Colts need to come out of the out of the blocks hot this year. For real, for real. Because the season is the playoffs are gonna be determined at the beginning of the year for the Colts. Because fuck, a majority of their games, three out of the first four games, is AFC South matchups. Uh five out of the first seven games, AFC South matchups. So they need to be in it. They need to be on it, come out the blocks hot. No bullshit, Frank. Don't come out 0-6. But come out three and four. Don't come out just something stupid. Don't come out dumb. Come out and fucking win. So uh, week six, home against Jags. Colts going to dub them that game. Week seven, go to Tennessee. Colts are going to win that one close. It'll be a barn burner. They will win that one off a of field goal. Week eight, that's when they got the commanders at home. Carson Wentz will be coming back here to Indianapolis. He's got some sour grapes. We got some sour grapes towards him. I mean, not, honestly, we really don't. I don't give a fuck about Carson. Nobody really gave a fuck about Carson. We, we gave you a chance, and you sucked, and you're gone now. We don't care. Bye. See you later. So, Colts going to get that dub. Then week nine, that fucking Antichrist matchup against the fucking New England Patriots in New England. The thing is, the Colts got the dub last year at home off some miracle-ass shit. Let me say that again. Colts got the dub last year against New England at home on some miracle ass shit. So this year, Jonathan Taylor heroics are not going to be enough in New England. We'll get screwed by some fucking zebra ass bullshit. It's just what happens in New England to the Colts. We got lucky last year at home. Uh, the last time we played in New England, it wasn't pretty. The last four times, five times, I don't even know how many times it's been. But the last a lot of times we've been in New England, we've gotten our asses Handed to us. And then that brings us to the Raiders going to Las Vegas. Vegas, I mean, it's hot in Vegas. Uh, there's gambling, there's casinos, there's strip clubs, there's, there's uh, the Playboy Mansion, I think. I don't know. I think it's closed down now because he's dead. But there's all this extravagance and shit going on there. It's a brand new fucking stadium. I think the Colts get the dub, though. And then you got that home matchup against Philly. Philly's that awkward matchup. I feel like the Colts will be all right. It just really depends on Jalen Hurts. I don't know how he's going to perform this year. If he comes out hot, uh, if Jalen Hurts is able to be accurate in passing, if he's able to move his team down the field, if he's able to keep his fucking job, basically, the Colts need to be on the lookout for an upset right there. That's a toss-up game, but I'm going to give the Colts the dub. And then you got the Steelers. Steelers have no quarterback. Um, rest in peace, Haskins. Um, he w they, 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 The Steelers are the Steelers. I, I give hope for Tomlin. They finished on the season last year what they barely made the playoffs. They shouldn't have made the playoffs. They got their asses whooped. Word on the street is Big Ben is pissed the fuck off right now, though. Uh, Ben's mad. Uh, word is that he wasn't ready to retire. Steelers forced him into retirement, basically. And all I got to say about that is, Ben, go home. You sucked. But I'm going to get the Colts to dub over Pittsburgh at home. And that will probably be a, a fucking mixed crowd, too. For whatever reason, the, the Steelers travel travel very well to Indianapolis. And then week 13, we got the Cowboys. My birthday, December 4th, 8.30 at night, Sunday night football. This is that fucking game. I'm not going to be there because I live in Indy, but you know what? 
I don't know. Cowboys are going to win this one. Um, the Colts, like I said, Cowboys are going to win that one. It's just what how it goes in regards to the Colts-Cowboys rivalry. They always offset it. And whenever the Colts go to Dallas, they normally lose games 28-14 and something like that. It's always an awkward, not an awkward number, but, you know, that score you're not used to seeing every day. And then you got week 15, Vikings. I hate the fucking Vikings. Skull fucking down. Uh, Colts get the dub on that one. Week 16, the Chargers. Uh, this is the one I see the Colts losing. Uh, Herbert, he's going to be too much. He's going to come in here. And he's going to dub us. Colts going to lose week 16. Week 17, we got the Giants. The Giants, we don't really know what to expect from them. Uh, they're going with Daniel Jones. I think he's going to be a flop. He's going to be a bum. And the Giants are going to flounder. Uh, the Colts are going to get that dub. And then week 18, we're going to cap it off with a dub over Houston at home. Uh, thank you, NFL gods, for not putting us in Jacksonville and ruining our fucking season. Granted, they did give us Jacksonville week two. It is what it is. We're going to be all right. Uh, the Colts are going to finish this season 13-4, and four, I believe. Uh, they'll win the AFC South. I, I don't see them losing in the AFC South this year. You can fucking book it. Book it now. Colts aren't losing the AFC South game. Whew. That was fun. I hope y'all enjoyed that shit. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment. Again, like, subscribe, share, comment. Uh, before I get out of here, you know I love to end things with a quote. Be so good, they can't ignore you. Steve Martin. Until next time, y'all. Peace. I'm space walking with my eyes closed. Yeah. I'm space walking with my eyes closed. Yeah.